and I scream really loud. You know that high-pitched scream that girls do? I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but Sniper Wolf is back. You guys remember Sniper Wolf, the massive YouTuber that steals a bunch of content, gives no credit to the original creators, and then says stuff like, wow, that's crazy, as her transformative commentary. And if that wasn't bad enough, when an OG YouTuber named Jax Films criticized her for her lazy reaction content, she got so angry at him that she doxed him on her Instagram to her millions of followers. This dude is running sideways! If you want to support the original creators of the TikToks, uh, too bad? because the only links you'll find in the description are all Sniper Wolf. Okay, so in response to this, she then showed up to his actual house in person. And let me just say, if you show up to someone's house over an internet beef, you are completely flipping unhinged and absolutely deserve to be banned from the platform. Sniper Wolf then did this absolutely pathetic chat GPT ass apology here. Completely lying, by the way, because her real opinion was actually shown when she was laughing about the situation after it happened and even after all the backlash even in this apology she's kind of memeing i deserve it respect the decision and appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow from a true lapse in judgment wow where have i heard that one before that's a known meme on youtube because that's the same apology logan paul actually used after filming a dead body in a forest i've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and she's memeing that okay she knows what she's doing there's no shot she didn't know that now after this youtube pretty much was forced to respond to the situation after weeks of backlash and despite sniper wolf being the golden girl of youtube and youtube specifically promoting her multiple times they had to take some sort of action here because everybody was talking about it and they the heat was on. So they gave her the ultimate slap on the wrist. They temporarily demonetized her channel. And even then, while doing that, they showed that they are still on Sniper Wolf's side because they said this, hoping that everybody helps move this convo to a better place. Basically saying, hey guys, we heard you screaming about this a lot. Please shut up. We don't actually care that Sniper Wolf literally showed up to a YouTuber's house and put his life in danger by doxing him to millions of fans. Essentially, they set the precedent that you can dox people and get away with a slap on the wrist. Now, after this, a couple more things happened. Sniper Wolf immediately tried to circumvent the ban by posting on a second channel and having that monetized. And then people pointed that out as well. And YouTube went in and demonetized the other channel as well. Now, this was all fine and dandy until a month ago when the temporary part of the equation just ran out and she is back on YouTube posting like nothing ever happened fully monetized, making millions of dollars once again. And at this point, I gotta say, YouTube, you gotta get your shit together, man. Why are you actually kidding me? I'm just saying, like, if a man showed up to a woman's house over internet beef and doxed her house to millions of people, there is no shot in the world this would be the equivalent punishment. Dude, we'd be ran off the internet so fast, it's not even funny. This is some crazy double standards, and this is not beef. This is, she actually committed a real-life crime, so can we treat her like a criminal instead of a six-year-old that stole candy from the candy jar. Anyways, moving on from this, Nerd City has just released an hour-long video going into yet another Sniper Wolf scandal. Some details have come out about how Sniper Wolf apparently assaulted another YouTuber named Azilan. Now, if you remember the lore a while back, Azilan was basically the new and improved upcoming Sniper Wolf. And Sniper Wolf, of course, being a crazy narcissistic social Sociopath did not like that at all. She got super, super jealous of her, copied her every move, her inflections, her videos, even like the things she she copied a plant she point, pointed to in a video. Absolutely crazy shit. So we'll just go over some of the important parts of this, but check out Nerd City for the full thing. At a major gaming event, Sniper Wolf assaulted a woman who wasn't even looking in her direction. If you've been around esports or YouTube drama for a while, you might remember this event because this was a big breakout moment for Ninja. This is a Fortnite OG Tyler Blevins dyes his hair blue Epic Games and Fortnite Blevins moment. And Sniper Wolf embarrassed herself in more ways than one. Billed as the pro gamer in a pro amateur duo, Sniper Wolf was outplayed by everyone on the stage that day, including the amateur playing with a bucket on his head. 
Okay, that's that's absolutely hilarious. How did I miss Sniper Wolf getting destroyed at a gaming event? I would have been that on that immediately, but I was too focused on Ninja's legendary blue hair, of course. By the way, big update, he has just tweeted out that he's cancer free. He uh, tweeted out recently that he had cancer. So yeah, that's a huge W. Can we get some W's in the comment section? Ninja no longer has Ligma. Okay, I had to say it. I'm sorry, but Ninja is a goat, man. Knock on wood. He, he's hopefully going to be around for a very long time. Anyways, back on topic, calling Sniper Wolf a pro gamer is like calling Dan Schneider a lovely old uncle. Something just doesn't add up over there, okay? I mean, if you think about it, she actually got her start on YouTube by faking gameplays for content. She'd get her boyfriend at the time, the sausage hot dog guy, whatever his name was, to play all the games. And then she would just pretend to play them and commentate over it. And even then the guy was writing all the scripts so she didn't even make up the words or anything. She just sat there and read what was on screen, kind of like what she's doing right now. She doesn't even react to the videos. Someone else writes the scripts for her and then uh, she reads it out. Listen, I don't know a single pro gamer who would fake their own gameplay un unless it's like cheating or some situation where you're hiding some hacks. So I I'm not surprised she lost. She's a phony. All said and done, her team finished tied for dead last with zero points. She got eliminated early in all three rounds of the tournament. In fact, she turned in such a poor performance that she barely appears on screen at all. In the entire 3.5 hour broadcast, blink and you would miss her. Hi, bro. Hello. She was like playing to the competition, but she was the very first person to die. I didn't see this, but people said that she died within like a few seconds. What many who were there did witness off camera was Sniper Wolf getting involved in altercations. Okay, so she's about to go absolute rage mode right now. And I get you, Sniper Wolf. I totally understand. You got trashed on at a video game. You got off the battle bus and died in about three seconds at a tournament with millions watching. And uh, that's tough. You know, that can make anybody mad. Maybe if you just didn't suck at... Okay, I'm kidding. Listen, I I get you. I was hard stuck bronze in League of Legends for three years until I looked up some nerdy tutorials, okay? How to get to Diamond! Every waking day of my existence, all right? It only took five years of my life and 25% of my soul, but I got the Diamond, guys. It was worth it, right, guys? Right? Now, I'm gonna be optimistic and hope that what happened after this was that she went home and made herself a cup of tea to relax because that's what angry gamers do uh, and didn't actually assault anybody because that would be bad and, and criminal. The first of which was a screaming match with her partner, Evan. He can't play for her live. <laughs> When I don't get my way, I, I scream and I scream really loud. Sniper Wolf and the man who now claims to have been playing for her at home were observed to be furious with each other immediately after her last place finish. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> for doing so badly in Fortnite. Yeah, I think that's what I was. He was probably like, he was probably was like coaching her to like be good at that. And he left. Oh man, so uh, Sausage was actually trying to teach her how to actually game, but Sniper Wolf was busy pressing Alt F4 on her keyboard. And uh, Sniper Wolf being the baby that she is, after losing a video game, gets in a crazy screaming match and essentially just taking out that gamer rage on everybody else. Okay, so in this next part, Nerd City puts a lot of clips of Sniper Wolf saying that she gets mad often. Everybody knows when you lose in an argument, all you gotta do is start screaming. I'm one of those lovely people that as soon as I get mad, they take out all their frustration. When I get mad, it's real quick. When I get mad, I get really mad. After failing to assault other internet celebrities within the game she made up for it in real life just like she always knew that she would <laughs> i never had time to practice or go to events and compete and not to mention i am a very bad sport if i lose like i'll go ape shit or cry or attack people i'll literally attack people i get really really competitive okay so i'm a little bit confused here i can't tell if it's actually a lot of clips out of context here or if sniper wolf is actually just a nut job who openly admits that she goes crazy and literally assaults people when she loses at video games. I think it's a mix of both, honestly. She might be uh, being sarcastic in that first clip, for example, uh, probably reacting to one of those videos. And the other one, uh, I don't know, giving her maximum benefit of the doubt, she's exaggerating and telling a story for entertainment. But also, this is Sniper Wolf, so she could actually just be nuts 
We've seen that she will do anything because of her anger issues and show up at people's houses. So let's not count anything out here. Now, uh, after this, Nerd City explains how Sniper Wolf is this major narcissist, right? And all of her actions are a result of her narcissistic anger response because, you know, she was proved as being inferior in a video game and that's why she's lashing out. Personally, I just call this ballistic gamer rage, but uh, I, I guess narcissistic works too. They thrive on winning. In fact, I'm not sure there is anything more important to a narcissist than winning. So when they fail at something, you need to brace yourself because you are likely going to see some behaviors you never dreamed you would see exhibited by a full grown adult. She played poorly and then attacked people. Narcissistic rage is an explosive combination of hostility and anger that comes about when a narcissist has their sense of self threatened. Essentially, the narcissist is having to face their own inferiority, which is something they are not able to do. Narcissistic people are very reactive. Ah! How could you? Um, okay, listen, uh, I'm all for shitting on Sniper Wolf here, okay? But <laughs> using an Agario clip of her getting mad as an example for narcissism is kind of crazy, let's be honest. Uh, pretty much any YouTube Let's Player has screamed at one of these video games. I'm pretty sure every person has screamed at a video game before, so... I'm gonna say some of these clips are a little out of context, uh, editors on crack over here, but uh, <laughs> I get the point he's making, okay? Just the B-roll is kinda crazy over here, all right? Anyways, this next part, uh, Azilan describes the assault in a little bit more detail. Apparently there were like six witnesses or something, but that's not really made public, so I'm not gonna comment on that. Okay, so basically, uh They were like in a circle and I was walking, I walked in the bathroom and then when I was walking back, I saw them and they're like, hey, Ozzy. And even go, and then I was like, it's not just there. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Just, just be nice. They just walk over and then I go into in there and I got really awkward. So I started like just say, telling an embarrassing story of myself. And uh, she just like is looking at me. She's silent and she's like, like angry. And then she like lunges at me. And I don't remember like exact details because it was just fucking terrifying in between and like pulled her off me and then they took her back into the room and then I was out there and they were like what the f was that <laughs> it was just like it was so oh yeah she was like oh yeah she was scram at me she's like a bunch of words I can't actually say on YouTube but the one sentence I can say is she goes you fake your game plan and then charges towards me swinging. Yo, that's a crazy special move right there. You fake your game plan. That's 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 a good one. That's a that's an ultimate right there. If this was League of Legends, if she was a champion, she just pressed R over there. Okay. I don't know if she thinks it's a movie or something. I don't know if she's a main character type of person. I don't even know if she knew Azzy existed at this point. I mean, I don't know if Azzy knew that she existed at this point. But yeah. Yeah, she lost a video game and then randomly decided to fight with her partner and assault the girl that she was jealous of. That kind of makes sense. I mean, you take out your rage on something completely unrelated because you can't smash your PC in public in front of a crowd. Uh, maybe adds up, sorta. Leah had to be physically pulled off of Azra and was dragged away screaming and clawing. Yes, this was me, the child with the anger issues, who would never back down from a fight. And I scream really loud. You know that high-pitched scream that girls do? I'm not even gonna do it for you guys, just to spare you headphone users. <laughs> Why do you scream so much, especially when you can't win a level in a game? Do you have anger issues? Maybe I do have anger issues. Do you have a problem with that? Do you? I can't help my anger. Whenever I get mad at a game, I get really mad and I can't help it. Um, okay, so these clips are pretty old, right? Uh, and I always thought that Let's Players just sort of did the anger thing because it's entertaining, right? It's like when you play the impossible game on Flash or whatever, right? And it's like you keep dying over and over again. You play Getting Over It by 
was it Bennett Foddy or something? And then you keep falling down. You play only up and you fall down. Yes, everybody's going to rage because you put a lot of effort into it. And then, you know, you, you go all the way back. And, uh, you know, if you get really into the game, it's good content. OK, it's good. Good content. People love to watch it. It's really entertaining. Now, is she a part of that crowd or does she genuinely have uh, deep underlying issues? I'm not, I don't know. I don't know her personally or whatever, but maybe she was exposing herself all this time because if you're going to make jokes about this, it's got to be pretty obvious that you're not uh, actually the thing you're talking about, you know? So if you make jokes like, hey guys, I'm crazy. I'm really freaking crazy. I'm actually insane. Then you better not actually be crazy because then that's, that's a quick one plus one type of situation where it adds up real quick, you know? It's like when Dan Schneider made Nickelodeon the uh, logo a foot and plastered like foot shit everywhere. You can make those jokes if you're not actually a creep, you know, like turned on by feet, okay? Now, after this uh, Nerd City talks about the whole uh, copying situation between them where Sniper Wolf would try to become Azilad, essentially. We saw how Sniper Wolf was copying elements from Azilad that had already proven to be popular. A piece of wood used to mix paint for 50 years. Used to mix paint for 50 years. Imagine how cool this would be like people like were a little more creative though and they were like, pink! Blue, yellow, purple. I mean, it would have been cooler if y'all used like brighter colors or something. It's the same kind of kind of content. She's just a liar though. She's stealing everything and has been for a very long time. The easiest examples to find by simply looking at the dates and comparing them are the hundreds of thumbnails and titles that Sniper Wolf used after Azzyland. It is astounding to see how many videos Sniper Wolf has legitimately either titled the same exact way as Azzyland or has just taken the same exact picture that Azzyland has used in her thumbnail. Okay, so I, I said this last time as well, but I would say that probably yes, S Sniper Wolf is copying everything because you know, she doesn't have any proof of her thumbnails being original at all. But just in general for you guys, the, the dates of the video are not enough to be 100% sure because you can change thumbnails of all videos too. So I can change uh, a video I uploaded three years ago and change it to the newest PewDiePie thumbnail. And then it's like he copied me from three years ago, you know, but no, I just changed it in the future. So provided Azzyland isn't uh, submitting any false evidence here or whatever, then yeah, Sniper Wolf is definitely crazy for this. And one more thing that definitely sort of confirms that she's been copying the stuff is that the video content can't be changed in the past so i can't go to a video three years ago and change the content in the video of course so if the content is the same too along with the title and thumbnail then yes yeah, sniper wolf is absolutely cooked which i'm pretty sure is the case over here now of course there's a bunch of nuance here of course it's uh, completely fine to use similar titles similar thumbnails but exact copy is where the problem is and the commentary inside has to be different too okay the, because that's just stupid. If every word is the exact same, then you're just stealing, even if it is your voice. Now, after this, it starts getting really creepy, and it just shows how uh, obsessive Sniper Wolf was over Azzyland. Why would she rip this off? Why would she steal this, this thing? It's a house tour or the red dress. Who cares? What are the chances, though? Honestly. It seems so intentional. She seems like she's gaslighting her audience into hating Azzyland. Bro, what? They have the same mirror? They both did a house tour in the same outfit? This looks like the same exact dress, dude. Like this really weird example where Azzyland is talking about plants in her home, basically saying that, you know, she doesn't really take care of them. They end up being killed and dying. But then Sniper Wolf goes on to say that they're luscious, well taken care of plants. Uh, more plants that I'm killing. A luscious, well taken care of plants and try to make it better almost like out of spite that is one of the pettiest things i've ever heard ever like imagine you're copying somebody's entire persona and the only one thing you change there is hey my plant is a little bit better than your plant it's actually well watered and well taken care of meanwhile your plant yeah it, it, it's not well looked after therefore i am better than you that is just plain creepy okay sniper wolf's obsession with azulan needs to be studied uh, okay under a microscope over here this is a this is a unique case of crazy and i don't understand why you would ever copy a house tour wearing the same dress and shit i think copying such minute details like the inflection of her voice and literally uh, down to the plant 
it's clearly some uh, popular mean girl type shit. I don't, I don't know what kind of competition she thinks is actually going on here. If she thinks the viewers actually care about this, but uh, I, it seems like she wants to be the only one YouTube girl, right? The popular YouTube girl. And she doesn't want people to replace her with the new model, the new and improved as a land model over here. But in reality, you're just freaky and obsessive. So maybe get over yourself and uh, YouTube, come on, come on, chop, chop. All right, chop, chop. Uh, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.